Hey friends, welcome back to my channel once again. Farah Fawcett's love of her life is still single 13 years after her death. Now 81, he has reunited with his kids. Charlie's Angel star Farah Fawcett was known for her stunning beauty and sensuality. Many people loved and admired her, but her heart only belonged to Ryan O'Neill. Their love for each other remained strong until her passing. Ryan O'Neill remembers Farah Fawcett's cancer and death in a 2009 interview with Barbara Walters. On ABC, O'Neill shared his memories of learning about Fawcett's serious cancer diagnosis and their final moments together. He said Fawcett went to Texas to be with her mother, who was ill, and stayed there after her mother passed away. One day, Fawcett called O'Neill and told him she was bleeding, to which he responded, I said, you have to get back there right away. She was later diagnosed with anal cancer, a rare type of disease. One day, Fawcett called O'Neill and told him she was bleeding, to which he responded, I said, you have to get back here right away. She was later diagnosed with anal cancer, a rare type of disease. Despite her complex health, Fawcett remained patient and determined to live. Peter described her as an amazing father. O'Neill, on the other hand, struggled to accept her situation. He admitted to panicking but said, I have been living with cancer for eight years at this point and I saw lots of what cancer can do and I just knew one thing. That Farah Fawcett was hard to kill as Fawcett's condition worsened, O'Neill renewed his efforts to marry her and she eventually agreed. They planned to turn the knot as soon as possible. The couple shared light moments and jokes even during the most challenging times. Fawcett even jokingly divided O'Neill about singing a prenuptial agreement. Meanwhile, Fawcett's longtime best friend, Elena Stewart, was also present during her last days and recalled how Fawcett's face would light up every time O'Neill walked into the room. Heartbroken, O'Neill remembered a moment when Fawcett asked him if she would ever make it, to which he replied, I said, sure, assure you will make it, and if you don't, I will go with you. While he managed to assure Fawcett, O'Neill also admitted that the first time Fawcett wondered if she would survive, he didn't like her question, and that she never discussed a death with him. Sadly, Fawcett passed away on June 25, 2009, before they could exchange vows. Fawcett's longtime doctor, Piro, stated that her death was peaceful and pain-free and she was surrounded by love. The physician added that O'Neill was with Fawcett in her final moments, showering her with sweet gestures and memories of their life together and holding her hand until she passed away. O'Neill and Fawcett raised their son together until before the split in 97. The couple reconciled in 2001 when O'Neill was diagnosed with leukemia and Fawcett cared for him. Even after she died in 2009, O'Neill continues to express his love for Fawcett publicly. In 2017, he paid a sweet tribute to her on her birthday, posting a photo of them together on Instagram and writing the caption, Happy birthday, baby. I love you forever and always. Fawcett's death carried with it a silver lining when it brought O'Neill and his family back together after being estranged for 20 years. O'Neill has four children with three different women and has had complicated relationships with them in the past. His daughter Tatum wrote about her troubled relationship with him in her 2004 autobiography, A Paper Life. She revealed in 2010 that he reached out to her and apologized. She also told him that she needed him in her life. In September 2020, O'Neill reunited with his family. His grandson, Sean Mick, and Ro shared a photo of the family on Instagram, including his mother, Tadam, and siblings, Kevin and Emily. Sean reflected on the rarity and significance of the moment as the last time they were all together was at the 30th anniversary of the film Paper Moon in 2003. The caption read, this is one of the best. Memorable photos of my life, the entire West Coast is burning, but if the O'Neills can reconcile, truly anything is possible. His half-sister Tatum admitted that she loved her brother but was frightened by his dependency on illicit substances R.I.P. Farah Fawcett. That's all for now. Subscribe for more.